Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the AI to do the 3D modeling just by using a piece of picture, a piece of image and the AI will make it become a 3D model. Now you can see this is just a JPG, a PNG picture of a dog and then the AI will do the 3D modeling for you and make it become a 3D model. And this 3D model, I'm going to show you how to make it become the FBX file so that you can use it in any other 3D software like the Blender, iClones, Unity, Unreal Engines, etc. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. First, you can just go to my video descriptions. Look at the first link, the image to 3D online app, what we call the triple. Enter the first link, then it is going to open by using a new tab and then click generate for free then it is going to lead you to the GUI the graphic user interface of this online app next you should be able to see an image to 3D click the image to 3D then drag or click and upload the image so I'm going to test one by one. Right now you can see I have just a few a few pictures. For example, this is this is a picture of a house and this is a picture of uh, of a car, a red car. So let's say the first step is just drag the picture to here. Then click draft Once you, you click draft, just wait for a while, it is loading and the AI, the artificial intelligence is going to perform the 3D modeling based on the picture. The AI have the mindset of people. After the AI looking at this image, the AI is going to, to have the 3D image in in their mind and then it is going to make it a 3d model for you just wait for a while now it is drafting now you can see this 3d car already here right the next step i'm going to show you how to make it become an fbx 3d model a universal file format a universal 3d format for almost every 3d software like the blender icron unreal engines unity etc like the Maya 3ds Max. so now the first step just click here to download once you click download it is going to start downloading and later after it finished downloads you can just go to the download folder so now you can see it already finished downloaded right click here go to the download folder this is the window explorer so now it is inside here the model.glb in order to make it become an fbx file what you need to do is just go and install the blender you can scroll down go to my video descriptions scroll down you should be able to see download blender blender is an open source open source free app a 3d modeling app and also the 3d animation app go and download the blender and install it in your computer I already installed the Blender, so I just open the Blender. Next, click and press A to select all and press delete to delete everything. Next, you click file, import the GLB because just now the 3D model that you downloaded is the GLB file. So download, after you download it, you import the GLB file into the Blender here. Then choose the download folder. It is here, the model.glb. Double click it. Then click here to turn on the texture, the image texture. Now you can see this is a, a red car 3D model. Next, as demo, I'm going to export the FBX on my desktop. I click File, Export FBX. In order to make sure that all of the material texture are embedded inside the FBX as well, you have to make sure the path mode choose copy. Then activate here, make sure you embed the texture. Then click the desktop, 
the file name, I'm going to name this as red car. Then I click export. Now it, it will export it as FBX file. You can see now the FBX file is here. Double click. It is going to open by using the Microsoft 3D Viewer. And this FBX file is very useful. You can just import into any other 3D software like the Unity, like the Blender, like Unreal Engines, iClone, Character Creator 4, Autodesk, Maya, etc. The FBX file is a very useful 3D model format. All right. Then you can see I have some other pictures as well. I'm going to test test one more for example this house or this female so I test with the house drag and drop and then click retry it is going to look at this house picture and generate a 3d model this is what we call the artificial intelligence 3d modeling the AI 3d modeling and we can call it image to 3d only the AI can do this it is really awesome. So as a 3D modeler, 3D animator, and 3D game developer, this is a really useful app to generate any of the 3D model just based on a piece of picture, a JPG or a PNG. For this 3D house, we just wait for a while and have a look how it generates and what is the final outcome. Sometimes you need to wait for about one minute or two minutes. It depends on the complexity of the picture that you uploaded. But usually it is less than one minute. It is really fast. So if, if it is more than, more than two minutes, more than one minute, you can just refresh it and just re-upload it again. Sometimes it is just because of the triple is freezing. All right, I refresh it. So now I click image to 3D again. Just drag and drop again this house. Then I click draft. And just wait for a while. Usually after you refresh it, it will be very fast. It is within one minute. Right now, it is done. It is about 3 minutes. And just now I paused the video recording. So it's about 3 minutes. You can see this AI really follow exactly the patterns of this picture. But of course, the texture is not that clear. But as an AI, it's quite successful to just generate this type of the 3D model. You can just download it and it will be inside your computer. Just within a few seconds, it finished downloaded. It is here. Now, once I click it, actually, the Microsoft 3D Viewer, it is supporting the GLB file. You can just direct, double click, and open it. All right. Then later, you can just use the same method to use the Blender to convert it to become the FBX file. Just because of not every 3D software support the, F the GLB file, but Almost every 3D software will support the FBX file. Right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to perform the AI 3D modeling just by using a piece of image to make it become a 3D model just by using the triple. Right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you.